Question. Chapter one. He come to my house with a bag of money and he said that he won. Take me to party Australia and somewhere. Oh hell yeah, Grant. This is this, this is that shit. Uh, if you be rap, you be single. If you be anything you want, do a dingo. Do a zondo. Bad girl, bad girl, go down. Hey, hey, my name's uh Keisha. Is it okay. TikTok? I'm Alexander Sandalis, aka White Robe. Hey, and we're here today to do another Australians React to Music, and today we've chosen Nigeria. An artist named uh, Yemi Yelaid. And she has a single called Johnny. Mm -hmm. When did this release? Fucking, I don't know. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> That's the one thing I didn't check. Um, Just trying to expand our genres of music we're mm -hmm. reacting to. As you can see, this is like the the seventh approximately video in this series we reacted for a, a bunch of whole different countries like argentina and spain and now we're here for our second african music mm -hmm. review just in malawi and now we're doing nigeria and we started with something a bit more obscure and unknown but now we're doing something that's a bit more well known mm, so, million views known it'll be interesting to see the contrast between the two if there is any and fuck yeah i just want to like we said we're just interested to see some different music from different cultures man let's do it Fucking do it. The suspect say a man. The shop of the other side. The man like a goosey soup. It's not about to choose a goosey soup. Oh, ah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Soup? Is that soup, I think? This is, this is that shit. Do they actually, do they, li real, do they really listen to this on the regular or is this kind of like... Dude, they got 97 million views. Fucking Johnny has some explaining to do. Man, Johnny was going, like he promised four to five women marriage. One had like, one was pregnant. Like, but he looked like a stand-up dude. Like, I don't oh, know. he's a bad guy. Didn't you see the, the, the pow pow but, graphics? I'm going to say, it was really funny because with the video clip, like some of the camera movements with like the, the dancing and the angles was actually really good camera work. But then when they had the text, yeah. I was like, it was like MS Paint text. Yeah. It was like 20 like the, years ago. Text. You'd see that in a comic. Yeah. Like some like ironic comic. But even but you could even make it more com like comic like in a more yeah. better manner. Yeah, it's just so you. out of place. Like for a, a video so well shot. 
to have these speech bubbles that were just so not. Now you got to ask, like, how much of that? How much of them are influenced by the West, or how much is it just kind of watching these old movies? They're just having their own kind of take on it. I don't know. It's like I kind of got like a bit of like that because it had that sort of dancey vibe. Right. Still, but it still had that influence from the Western vibe. So kind right. of a bit of both, I felt. And I really like her... Um, I like her costume changes a lot too. Like she had like four different hairstyles yeah. and different outfits. I thought they were all really, really awesome and the way it displayed in this video clip. It was su it's such a super catchy song. You can see why it became like an international hit. And I, I actually like the theme that they were talking about because it's, it, it's not clever, but it's just funny. Like... Where is my Johnny? Like Johnny's this kind of perfect guy. Where, where, where is the, where is my perfect mm. man? I'm married and I can live a happy life with. And then they portray the bad Johnny, the infidelity Johnny, mm -hmm. who fucking hooks up with four women and really? I don't know them. I never met them. <laughs> I, 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 it's real weird, but it's cool. Uh, maybe that's like a sense of humor or that, that like would be yeah, more strictly yeah, to yeah. them. I wasn't a huge fan of the song, I'll be honest. <laughs> I didn't really like it, but uh, I like I, I said, I liked a lot of the visuals. I liked a lot of the elements through the production, and, and her voice is really, really beautiful. And I think at the end towards, you could hear some, oh, she actually has, she can uh, inflect her voice in some different ways, mm. like exploring her talents a little bit more in different songs in the future, maybe. Anyway, can I give you some lyrics? Yes, give me some lyrics. Hit, hit, a, hit a man up. It's the pre-chorus. Johnny leave me, follow Cynthia. And I don't know what to do. And he talks, say, I know do am. Like the way Cynthia day do. Johnny gives Uchella Bella. He talks, say, he won marry Nena. No wakum kedi fenem. Johnny mo, Johnny mo. Do you reckon there's some words they have that just can't be translated? Oh, always. We're always going to find that. Mm. I'll be honest, I could, I could barely understand what that man was saying most of the time. It was awesome though. Hey, respect for them to trying to learn the English language and blend the English and I, I don't know the native language tongue. Neither it's do probably I. a dialect. But yeah, I've always said I prefer artists to have a preferred language or their native language. It's better. Well, I prefer it when they speak mainly that language because it's really more them. But I guess the power of the West. Where is my Johnny? I am too trying to find my Johnny. Anyway. <sighs> Look, I like this, man. I like what Jungle Beats is becoming. We're becoming a channel that's really exploring a lot of different things outside our yeah. comfort zone. I like that. Same. Like, this is this is really fun. I enjoy listening and exploring this sort of stuff. So, that's why we're going to keep doing it. Yeah. And hopefully, we stumble upon more songs about toxic relationships and continue to grow. We're Jungle Beats. And uh, if Make you Make wanna... sure to leave a... Shut your ass up, boy. Now, because we have such a huge list of um, uh, genres to review, yeah. make sure to please leave your comments so now we can add to our list of a thousand different genres. And um, legit, I do put them down. I have, a, I have a list on my phone and it's, to be honest, it's so full now that like I, I should probably start a new one. But like when I see stuff written down, I add it to my list. So Anyway, man, we're Jungle yeah. Bees. Make sure to watch all our videos and click on all our ads to make us the most amount of sense possible. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Question. <laughs> question. I have a question. You haven't captured. Power of music, man. I'd fucking love to have a powerful voice. That's why Frank Sinatra is one of my favorite artists because I really I go back to watching a lot of videos and watching a lot through his career. Like with Frank Sinatra, man, they paid he 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 and his team would pay girls like 10, 20, 30 girls. They they'd even audition them to when he'd come on to certain songs and come on stage. They'd have to scream and like pass out. What? He paid them to... Yeah, he paid women to like be at the front of the stage and be extra loud and be extra like oh. obnoxious in a way. So, and, and it was funny because other girls would do the same that weren't paid to do it. But then, and but that was like earlier on and eventually got to a trend where people would like swoon and do that sort of thing as concerts because they started that trend. That's really interesting. Really cool, I'm man. I'm running out of breath there when you finish that sentence. <laughs> out of like...